What is going on my fellow Halo enthusiasts? I hope all of you are doing great this fine evening or morning depending on when this comes out. Um, I just really wanted to thank you guys first and foremost for all the support that you showed for the last tutorial video. I mean, it just completely blew up and you guys were really kind and you know, I'm glad that it helped a lot of you. I'm really new to uh, doing this kind of content. I've never really commentated over doing things and uh, it's kind of new for me so I'm still learning. So bear with me here. Um, just some prereq things I wanted to get out of the way before we uh, continue with this tutorial video. I'm strictly going to be doing Halo content now. Um, I've kind of been holding back and jumping around with content and not really finding a theme. But Halo is one of my favorite games, if not my favorite of all time. CE was my first game that I ever played, so I've just decided to just go with Halo. Um, it's going to be a Halo strictly channel so if you're here for other stuff i really do apologize that it changed but this is just something that i'm really passionate about and that i want to dive headfirst into second of all i don't really know what kind of content it's going to be it's going to be all kinds of stuff um it'll be like videos with subs if you guys want to do game nights i'm super down to you know have some matches and do things like that play on some custom maps that you guys make I want to do mod showcases, so I want to show off some of the stuff that you guys are creating. I think that would be really cool to get it out in the spotlight. And then, of course, I'm going to be doing the tutorials and stuff and just random gameplay, you know, maybe some clips or whatever. But hopefully you guys will enjoy that. That's the path for this channel. And uh, let's, uh, let's keep this positivity going. You know, I really appreciate the support and stuff. So anyways we're gonna get into the video and i just wanted to get that out of the way much love for you all and let's get started with the second tutorial for the uh halo ce modding all right so to get started we are gonna need three things possibly some more it depends i'm kind of just winging it right now but uh what we're gonna need is sapien gorilla and we're gonna need a new program called invader i will put a link into the description on how to download it and i will also go step by step with you guys on installing invader getting it set up and getting it running for your uh workspace that you set up in the previous tutorial so for this video we're going to be extracting a tag and we're going to be stripping it with invader and then making it work with uh cea's mod tools and then we're going to throw it into a scenario just to see if it works we're going to mess around with it and then i'm going to show you guys how to edit uh edit some of the attributes of that tag in gorilla so it'll be a pretty simple video like I said, I am learning with you guys. I am super new to modding, you know, I'm still trying to get all this stuff figured out and learn and experiment. So I'm kind of learning with you guys. So as I learn things, I'm gonna put these videos out while you guys are following along. And if you have any help or any tips or anything that I miss or, you know, say wrong, please feel free to leave some criticism or um, advice in the comments. I really appreciate that. But yeah, let's get into the video. Let's get to making some stuff. Okay, first and foremost, Invader. We are gonna download the program. I will leave this link in the description and I will show you guys how to set it up. So we're gonna download it. First of all, you're gonna click this bottom link right here. Now be aware, the nightly builds for this do get updated pretty frequently as I'm sure the guy that's uh, working on it often uh, is making changes and uh, accommodations for the new tools that come out. So be aware of that if you would like just come check up on it you know every couple of weeks see if the the build has updated and if it has just re-download it replace your files and then you'll be good to go just keep on top of it you know things get outdated and then you'll you'll have issues if you don't keep it uh keep it updated so that's just something i wanted to throw in there for you guys to be aware of so click this it will download and then once it's done we are going to open it up and i'll show you how to install it super simple so you're going to open the download you're gonna go to your workspace. So remember in the last video how we went to Chellin 1, where we had all of our stuff. I already have this set up, so I'm not gonna do it again, but I'll show you the process. Um, right click, and then you're gonna go to new folder, and then you would name it Invader. I'm not gonna name it Invader because I already have mine here. And then you're gonna take everything that is in this folder right here, in the download, and you're gonna drop it into your Invader folder that you just created so for me it's gonna ask to replace for you it will not because I have already done all of this I have invader open so blah 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 I don't need to do that 
but yes so you're going to place all your files in your invader folder you should be good to go invader is downloaded and your folder should look something like mine if not exactly the same if you have extra stuff i'm not sure where you got it from but this is how it should look you should have six shooter and a bunch of invader.exes change log licenses and the .ini file and a couple readmes but uh yeah so that's invader everything is set up now we're going to talk about six shooter um, Invader itself is a command line program that is used to compile maps. It's kind of like a Soyuz with the GUI for tool thing. Invader is like tool 2.0 basically. Um, I believe it's a single person that made Invader and he's been working on it. And I think some of the community has kind of like helped in, you know, refining it and stuff. But this program is super, super useful. It's super good in uh, terms of getting things done for modding and, you know, editing tags or extracting tags or fixing tags. So shout out to whoever made Invader. I don't know your name off the top of my head right now. I'm just blanking, but you are the goat. And this tool has come in handy for me and probably hundreds and hundreds of modders out there for CE. So big ups to you, dude. Really appreciate it. So, this is the six shooter GUI. Pretty simple. It's going to look like this when you open it. What you're going to want to do first is go to edit settings. It's going to show some browser uh, directory things that you're going to need to set. You're going to click find for the top one and you're going to go to your workspace. Again, Chellen1 should be very familiar with this directory by now from the last video. And you are going to set where Invader is located, which is the folder that we just made and dragged everything into. So you should have this folder, this should not be missing. If you followed along, you should be doing A-OK -okay by this point. So select folder, and then you're gonna go find for the second one, you're gonna click on your maps folder, select folder, and then you're gonna push add down here where it says uh, move up, move down, add and delete. You're gonna add a new directory, you're gonna click add, you're gonna click tags, and then boom, you'll have that. I already have one, so I don't need that. I don't need this one. This is an old tags directory, but it should look exactly like mine. Now, wherever your Steam installation, it might look a little different. So it could be in the C drive, but same thing. You're going to click save. So at this point, Six Shooter is all set up. I'm going to go and grab a tag. I'll leave the website description. I'll leave the website in the description for you guys on uh, where to get tags and stuff like that. And you can also extract tags from maps. So that's another option. But uh, I'm going to move on over to that. So if you're following along at this point, thank you. And we'll get on to the next part. Okay. So this is halomaps.org. This is an old, old school site. I used to use this as a kid to download a bunch of Halo custom edition maps and stuff like that. It's still up, which is really cool. And the great thing about it is you can get a bunch of tags from this website. So if you want new vehicles, new weapons, new bipeds, etc., etc., you can go ahead and slide on over to this website and grab a bunch of stuff. You can also download a map, any custom map you would like, and you can extract all the tags from it. Most of the time it'll work if it's protected, then there are some things you got to do with Invader. Super easy. Um, you can get around that, but I'll put that in another video maybe at some point. But for this example, we are going to be downloading the Wasp. So if you want to find this, I will leave the link in the description. Whoops. I'll leave a link in the description of this page so you can go and download this and follow along with me. But uh, if you don't know what the Wasp is, it's a flying vehicle, it's custom, and it's uh, super sick. So we're going to download it, and we're going to get it working in our game. So click download, and then let it do its thing. And when it's finished, I will meet you guys at the next section. Alright, so if you have come this far, you should have your Wasp downloaded, and you should have your tags directory ready to be opened. Um, open up your Wasp download, you'll have a Wasp final folder, you're going to open that. And then you're going to have a wasp folder and a cyborg model animations folder or a uh, file i apologize so what you're going to do is open your tags you're going to go to vehicles i already have put the wasp in here but just for the sake of following along i will do it again for you guys so you're going to put the wasp in your vehicles tags you're going to replace it boom wasp is all set up it's in there now for the cyborg animations you're going to go back to tags you're going to go to characters and then you're going to go to cyborg now, personally, I like to rename the file before I throw it in here. 
So I'm going to rename this to Cyborg Wasp. Just to throw it in there because we don't want to replace anything, you know, because then you're going to have to replace it back if something messes up and you just really don't want to take the time to do that. I personally don't. Maybe it's different from you. I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah. So we got our new animations for the wasp and we have our wasp in the directory that we need it to be. So first, what you're going to do after throwing that tag in, you're going to need to um, basically clean the tag. It's called stripping it. It'll make it compatible with the uh, MCC tools because apparently custom edition tags don't work with the new um, MCC tools just straight out. So you can't download a tag and then throw it in. It has some issues and I don't know the specifics of it, but easy fix. All you got to do is go to uh, bludgeon tags and then you're going to go to tags directory. For me, it's this. For you, it'll be another directory wherever your Chell in one tags folder is. You're going to go to level and then you're going to click clean up strip unused data useful if modding CEA with official tools. And then you're gonna click bludgeon. It's gonna have a bunch of uh, prompt right here. It will take a while because there's a lot of tags, but uh, you know it doesn't take too long as long as you don't have you know hundreds of thousands of tags added in. But let it do its thing. And then once it's finished, this button down here will be grayed out when it's going. Once it's finished, it'll be able to be clicked again, and that's how you know that it's done doing the the process. After it finishes that. You can close that and you can close six shooter for now and we're gonna go mess with stuff in um gorilla and sabian we're almost done with the tutorial super quick stuff um thank you guys again if you're getting to this point and let's move on to the next section here we are with our good old buddy sabian those of you who did the last tutorial should be familiar with this program by now i would hope if not all good Basically a quick overview for those who are not uh, from the last video, Sapien is a real-time map and world editor. It also lets you basically um, add vehicles, add weapons, change spawn points, add bipeds, AI, things like that. You can't edit the terrain, but you can edit the scenery, so rocks, trees, other things like that. Very useful program, very cool, um, very essential to Halo CE modding. So first thing we are going to do you're going to open up your objects you're going to go to items or sorry i apologize units and then you're going to click vehicles you're going to edit types you're going to add and in this specific scenario we're using the wasp i did this for an example so if you guys would like to follow along with the wasp you can try other vehicles but i'm not sure if they will work 100 percent sometimes there's little tags that are missing for the actual vehicle that you need to download separately and it can be kind of a pain so we're going to go to our wasp we're going to click wasp mp dot vehicle and add the tag it'll show up on our list that means it worked all good we're going to right click it should be invisible and then you're going to go to your properties go to type and you're going to add the wasp as you can see our wasp is here it's looking pretty fresh very cool to have a new vehicle in our scenario and that is the sapien side of things now we're going to edit things in gorilla to make the vehicle show up in the map and then we're going to compile the map and test it to see if it works also this process is the same for weapons for the most part the only difference is you will not need to edit the globals to have the weapon spawn in the level you do need to edit the globals file with Gorilla, which I'll be getting into right now, to make vehicles show up. It's kind of an unfortunate uh, situation that we can't add vehicles onto the palette. We can only replace them, but not a biggie. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. So, I'm going to save my scenario as. Like I said in the last video, I prefer to save as, as it makes sure that you're not overriding your default death island in case something goes wrong. So I'm going to call it Death Wasp, easy enough, and we're going to save that. Now we're going to head over to Gorilla. Okay, so now we are in Gorilla. We are going to go ahead and open, and we are going to open our globals.globals tag. You can find that in tags, 
globals, globals dot globals. It's gonna open, cool. So now we're gonna scroll on down for a little bit and we are gonna look for the vehicles tag. So this is super important. Um, if you wanna add new vehicles to a scenario, you need to do this step. If you don't, they will not show up. It's super easy to make a backup of this file if something goes wrong, I recommend doing that. But I have our palette right here. So what you wanna do is replace one of these vehicles with the new vehicle that you just placed in Sapien. So for me, I'm gonna change the ghost to our wasp. So I'm going to push the little dots right here next to vehicles. And then I'm gonna to go to tags, vehicles, wasp wasp underscore mp dot vehicle push open boom awesome so that is set up it's all good to go awesome so if you got to this point and you have done everything correctly you should have added the wasp tag and the animation to their proper areas in your tags folders then you should have added the wasp in sapien to your scenario and then you should have edited the globals file in gorilla added the wasp to the vehicles palette replacing the tank or the ghost, I apologize. And then after that, you should have saved your globals. So make sure you save that file before you quit Gorilla. It should ask you if you didn't. Okay, so now we are gonna compile our map. We're gonna load it up in game and we're gonna see if our wasp works. If so, everything gone well, then we should be flying around on this thing in no time. Okay, and we're in the game. And as you can see, our beautiful wasps have spawned in. They are gonna say missing string. There are ways that you can edit the text to say the proper vehicle name. That's something I can do in another future video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We got our sweet new vehicle and it works just fine. And if you compile this map, your friends don't need to edit the globals or anything. They can just throw the map in their game and it'll have the custom stuff in it. So if this tutorial helped you guys, or if there's anything specifically that you want to see, please leave a like and a comment below. Let me know what I could work on. Let me know if there's anything that could have improved with this tutorial or future ones. And thank you again so, so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I just hit a tree. Ow. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me. And it's really fun just making these videos and getting into Halo modding. Because, you know, it's just as new to me as it is for you guys. So, anyways, I'm going to go mess around with some mods. Hopefully, you guys will make some cool stuff. If you do make any maps and you would like them showcased, uh, feel free to send me some files or some information on your maps. I want to do some showcases of the community's projects. I think it'd be super sick. So yeah, let me know what you guys are making. I'm excited. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.